UFC 255 Shevchenko vs. Maya took place Saturday, November 21st at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas. In the co-main event, women's flyweight champion Valentina Shevchenko looks to continue her dominant reign against submission ace Jennifer Maya. This event will be closed to the public. Let's talk Shevchenko vs. Maya. The number three ranked Jennifer Maya, 18-6-1, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, aims to take home UFC gold by becoming the first fighter to defeat Shevchenko at 125 pounds. Maya comes in at a plus 900 underdog, but she is a very tough competitor that brings in a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt and has won nine of her last 11 bouts. It's no big strategy of where she wants the fight to be, but on the other side of the cage, you have Valentina Bullet Shevchenko, 19-3, fighting out of Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, and has her sights set on delivering a spectacular victory to secure her fourth consecutive title defense. Shevchenko comes in at a huge minus 2,000 favorite and is about as well balanced of a fighter as you could create. She has incredible power and uses her surgical stand-up to strategically pick apart and dominate her opponents. She has an incredible work ethic that brings in solid wrestling and impressive ground game along with her incredible cardio to top things off. The true story of the night was how Shevchenko very early in the fight went for a takedown on the very tough black belt in Maya. In the second round, Maya started to press the champ against the cage and looking to wear her down. And the very resilient Maya got a takedown of her own and did an excellent job and controlling the champ, landing some nice ground and pound strikes. Shevchenko admitted that she was glad it was a five round fight because of the long layoff, but the rest of the night was her dominating and was starting to land some powerful shots and fighting a much smarter fight. The champ was five for five on her takedown attempts. In the fifth round, Maya, knowing she was down on the scorecards, went on the attack early, pressing the champ against the cage, but Shevchenko did an excellent job keeping her back off the cage and keeping the fight in the middle of the octagon and was throwing bombs. You could see Maya was starting to show serious damage on her bloodied face with the bullet blitzing forward with her powerful striking. Maya held her own, landing some nice shots of her own, but the champ was just too dominated to the end once again. Valentina Shevchenko defeats Jennifer Maya by unanimous decision to defend her flyweight title. All right, here's my final thoughts. Quick note, tonight was the first time in UFC history that two sisters competed on the same card. That's a lot of pressure, not only having to worry about yourself, but also having the stress of your sister fighting, knowing how incredibly close they are. One of the most impressive things that Shevchenko possesses is her truly incredible work ethic. She is always advancing by training at different places, staying in top shape and pushing herself constantly, always looking to sharpen her skills even more, and it shows. The bullet showed off another huge part of her game tonight with mostly grappling attacks and dominating a black belt. And if you were to build a perfect fighter, the bullet might be the ultimate prototype. For an athlete, it's always hardest to climb to the top because you've achieved such a massive goal that you've chased for years and years. So to stay on top, it can be hard because of how much work you put in the journey. And sometimes that can cause us not to train as hard. But this is not the case with the bullet. Shevchenko is a fierce competitor in all areas of life and has an appreciation of where she is at, enjoying the moment with grace and class, and that's nice to see compared to some of today's athletes and how ungrateful they can be. Shevchenko loves that UFC gold, and it's always a treat to watch her work. It's going to be a tough task to get that belt from her anytime soon, and I can't wait to watch her fight again. Here's some quick stats on Shevchenko. She is a UFC women's flyweight champion. She is the number three women's pound for pound fighter. She has seven wins by submission, six by KO. She has made four successful title defenses. She now holds wins over Holly Holm, Joanna Zerjacek, Juliana Pena, Jessica I, and now Jennifer Maya. Okay, what's next for Shevchenko? The Bullet has taken out most top opponents in a somewhat soft women's flyweight division. I think the fight a lot of us want to see is her face off in a super fight with the great Amanda Nunez. But Dana White in the post fight press conference seemed to be thinking something different and was saying what a great fight Jessica Andrade would be. You know, I think that Andrade Shevchenko is a very fun fight. And the thing I love about that fight too is that Shevchenko's at a place in her career now where she needs an opponent that people think actually has a chance of beating her, and I think we all know that Andrade does. 
Guys, let me know what you thought of the fight tonight and who Shevchenko should face next in the comments. Just want to give a big shout out to all of our loyal fans. We appreciate the support. Don't forget to smash that like button. This is Jay Catton with MMA Weekly's The Lowdown Breakdown. See you next time.